Hey guys, uh, Eric with, here with you again, and uh, this is the new puzzle that I'm going to be cutting out. This is the, uh, I guess you could say character from Myth and Legend. Uh, I don't really like that term, but I don't really know what else to call him. He's known as the Green Man. I'm going to be making this piece out of the three-quarter inch thick poplar so that the pieces are nice and durable. Since it's a puzzle, it's going to be taken apart put back together several times. Now... I probably, <laughs> as much as he's called the green man, I probably won't use a green stain on him like these uh, frogs here, because that just, it wouldn't look right. So, but one thing I'm absolutely loving about this puzzle is that is the only drill hole in the entire piece. And everything else comes in from an edge, so it's going to be really nice, really quick yeah, I know. Cutting something out of three-quarter inch thick wood. Well, it's actually going to be a fairly quick process. I've already finished cutting out the uh, dragon puzzle that I showed in a previous video. And I still need to finish sanding and staining that project. And I'm kind of at, a, at an impasse on that project. Because the colors of stains that I want, we don't have. So I have to wait till I'm able to go get them. Hmm. Yeah. So anyways, on to the saw. First thing I need to do to get uh, the puzzle done is I uh, need to change blades. I was doing some more of those uh, heavy uh, cedar fence signs from Mother's Day. And this guy right here, this blade is a 7R double skip. Now it's a lot heavier blade than I normally use, but when you're cutting through wood over an inch thick and you need the cuts to be uh, fast and precise, but remove a lot of material, I go to a double skip blade like this because it just speeds up the process. I can control the blade and it won't gum up or burn out because I'm trying to move the material too fast. Now, to give you a point of comparison, uh, let's see. Not really getting the clearest picture of this sucker, are you? Yeah, you can see how there's uh, the tooth or the teeth uh, skip, and there's only every third tooth in place. So that lets it clear a lot of material for some fast cuts. Now, as a point of comparison, this little guy here, this almost looks like a pencil line next to the. Uh, number seven, this is the three R skip. It only skips every other tooth instead of every uh, two teeth. And it's meant for much finer detail work. Let me see that again. Zoom! Yeah, you can see the teeth on this one are a lot finer and uh, a lot closer together. So it's, it's uh, still a heavy enough blade that I can cut through wood this thick and uh, still get some really awesome detail out of it uh, like I showed you guys with the dragon puzzle so now let me start fussing around with blades and get this party started huh? now one of the slight problems I may have from uh, cutting out this puzzle is that the camera is uh, downstream of the fan that's going to be blowing the sawdust away for me and uh, making it so I can breathe without breathing wood Eh, I may cover my cell phone in sawdust, but eh, at least it's dry. I can clean it out, so no worries there. But let's see. I'm recently cutting very thick wood, so I've readjust the air hose and make sure it's actually blowing the sawdust up for the part instead of just uh, blowing air around. So, well, not the best cam camera angle I've ever come up with, but hey. At least if I hold on to the part, you can still see my work. So. Now I'm just cutting out the eyes. These are the only internal parts on the entire uh, puzzle are these uh, these uh, two eyes and then the mustache uh, all need to be cut out first. Bing! Make sure I get these cuts right because once they're done, they're done.
as I get shot in the face with an eye. That's not disturbing at all, is it? Boom! We have a moustache. Moustache. So I'm going to continue cutting away on this thing. Uh, since those were the only internal pieces that I needed to cut, now I can cut everything from an edge and speed the process along. So I'm going to get to getting on the top half, uh, the top five leaves is actually where they suggest to start this project. So. Get the blade all situated and happy and run with it. Oh, by the way, Ricky, I'm tr I've tried setting three on the uh, blade tensioner, and yeah, it works a lot better. Uh, I didn't normally tighten blades more than one and a half to two. And it's still, it, the, the blade really kind of wandered wherever it wanted to go uh, a little more than I was happy with. So, uh, thanks for the tip in one of your videos. Alright, man. Back in a sec, guys. Junk. Right, so, um, okay. All sound effects aside. The uh, separated the two halves, so it, basically I wanted to split this puzzle in half and make the pieces easier to work on. So now we have the uh, top five leaves of the uh, basically the hair of the green man uh, separated, so I can these are the, these are the uh, the easiest pieces. Uh, these are going to be the quickest cuts. The only thing that's going to be uh, more time-consuming than everything are all the little ridges on the t leaf at the top of his head. Uh, not hard cuts. It's just monotonous cuts because you get to make little notches here, there, and everywhere. Uh, I may just round them over a little bit to make it one continuous cut, but I'm going to try and do that without ruining the piece in the process. Uh, Another reason I don't want to make those uh, those ridges a uh, sharp point is uh, if kids are going to use this puzzle, I really don't want them cutting their hands on or getting splinters from sharp pieces of wood. So clean that up and get that going. So, anyways, guys. Okay, guys. So far, uh, have all the separate leaves of the top of the head. They're done. Everything's cut out so far. So, whoops. So that's all done. So basically this part of it is very simple to put together. I mean literally. So simple that even a woodworker can do it. Good. Alright, so the top of the puzzle is done. Uh, really don't have any detail from the face yet because I just uh, just finished cutting the face out. Now what looks like a mouth is actually where the uh, mustache is supposed to go. This thing here. So um, I'm going to finish cutting off the eyebrows which are right on the top here so I'll get those cut out for you real fast and then I can get into the meat of the project which is the rest of his beard and, and such which is all this here so 
we're getting there. I mean, it's only been about an hour's worth of cutting to get to this point. So this is a this puzzle is actually cutting out really quickly. Because I keep the camera. No camera for you. Alright, so we're going to get up close and personal this shot and see if I can give you guys a little bit more detail of the scrolling itself. Eh, no, not with my fingers in the way. Just a little bit too big for close-up work. Just like that. We have an eyebrow. I know. Exciting. <laughs> now this sucks. At this point, these pieces are getting a little too thin to do. actually trim on the saw, so I'm going to have to hand sand any burrs that are left over once I'm done cutting pieces out. So, I'm going to try and finish up uh, the scrolling of the Green Man puzzle today. I have two more leaves. Yeah. I have two more leaves that I need to uh, take off the, the uh, piece of wood. Uh, I think two more. Yeah, it looks like two more. Anyways, um, there we go. Once I get these final two leaves cut out, then that's I'm finished with the... With the scrolling side of things and then I just have to go into the uh, staining and clearing so that everything is nice and the colors that I want it to be and all that. Uh, I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to be finishing up the scrolling and I'm going to be uh, doing the staining in um, as a later part of this video. If this video runs too long, I try, I'm going to try and keep my videos to 20 minutes and under so I don't bore the crap out of you guys. Uh, but like I said before, I'm going. To, if I have to go to a second part of the video, it's going to be one right after the other, so that there's nothing thrown in between, so you get lost and all, and, and uh, don't know which project you're looking at anymore. But um, anyways, let's get to getting. I've noticed ever since I've been bringing you uh, my stuff to you guys on YouTube that YouTube has an issue with uh, uploading videos of HD quality at half an hour or greater. Uh, it has taken as long as three hours for uh, YouTube to absorb a 30 minute video from my computer. Now I don't know if that's a problem on my end or with their server, but it really makes it a hassle when I want to bring you guys a decent length video. Set the tension and away we go. Ah, you're looking at the back of my hand again. Figure. Now, I could turn up the saw speed at this point and just blaze through these leaves, but come to find out that these Pegasus number no. 3 blades don't like a really high rate of blade speed. Uh, it's not that I'm breaking them or anything like that, I'm just wearing them out so quickly because I'm cutting through a th rather thick wood at 3 quarter inch poplar, but it's not a very hard wood. It's just the blade speed is getting them so hot it's actually softening the tips of the teeth and rounding them over a little bit. So I'll just keep chunking away at this speed and call it good. Now 
Now, one thing I've also noticed with uh, this with this saw and with the Dremel scroll saw, so it seems to be pretty much any saw you're using, when you're cutting across the grain and not uh, not with the grain, the the saw tends to cut quite a bit faster. So what you need to do is when you notice you're about to cut cross grain, slow down your feed into the blade so you can still follow the long lines easier. Uh, otherwise, you, it's going to get away from you and you're going to end up cutting somewhere you didn't intend to. So, eh, just a little tip. Down, one to go. Okay, so uh, as far as this video is concerned, I'm done. Uh, I know I have at least 20-25 minutes of video once I'm done editing everything. So the two leaves for the final piece of this puzzle are now cut out. So uh, in the next video, I will uh, show you my finishing technique. Uh, the, uh, using multiple color stains on the same project to get kind of almost a painted look to them, but without the solid color, you can still see the wood grain through it. Beyond that, guys, um, that's pretty much it. So, hope you're enjoying this project, and I'll see you in the next vid.